Welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about the four last things, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Last episode, we talked about whether we lose everything by going to hell. This time, if we were in heaven, would we still be ourselves? This is a key point, since after all, there's really no point to pursuing a good outcome for yourself if you're not around to enjoy it. Making sure that heaven is really as good as they say is fine, but if you're not really you when you arrive, it's not like it helps, well, you any. So, if we're going to answer this question, it's important to know what makes us who we are. A human being is a soul-slash-spirit united to a body, so in a certain sense, it would be correct to say that souls in heaven aren't completely human until their bodies are returned to them at the Last Judgment. You need both, soul and body, for a genuine, full human being. Therefore, humanity isn't the connection between this life and the next. If you're going to be the same person there that you were here, there's got to be some connection between who you are on Earth and who you are in the afterlife, so what's the connection? There are two connections. First, that the soul in heaven is the same soul that was here on Earth. Second, that the body, which it's proper for you to have, is the same body that you had here on Earth. So in that sense, yes, there are common points between yourself on Earth and yourself in the spiritual afterlife, and those common points are enough to make you the same person. However, there are several other aspects of this question which are usually associated with self-identity. Number one, memories. I've heard some people say that in heaven we don't remember what we went through here on Earth, that seems off to me, since things in heaven are supposed to be made perfect, and the perfection of memory isn't forgetting, it's remembering perfectly. Far from forgetting everything, it seems much more likely that we'll not only remember things from this life, but remember other things too, things we didn't previously know, and which make sense of our suffering and other bad experiences from this life. We might gain memories of all the good that was done through our actions, sufferings, and sacrifices, or any number of other pieces of information which would make memories of Earth a good thing to have. By extension, awareness of Earth, Hell, and Purgatory would fall under this same line of reasoning as things that wouldn't be lost. Number two, desires, fears, and tastes. Desires and fears would cease to exist in heaven, because in heaven, every good thing is already present, so there's nothing left to desire, and there's also no reason for those in heaven to be afraid. As for tastes, meaning aesthetic preferences, I do think that most people in heaven will learn to appreciate goodnesses that they previously had a hard time with, but that doesn't mean that aesthetic preferences are forbidden in heaven. Again, since God doesn't have any aesthetic preferences of his own, I don't see any reason why he would attempt to steamroll anyone else's, particularly since many people consider this an important distinguishing aspect of themselves. In reality, though, tastes do often change. When I was young, I didn't like pizza or burgers. Now I like both. So even if your tastes change a little, that doesn't make you any less who you were. Number three, talents. People in heaven have their talents perfected. So the talents of souls in heaven do change, but our talents don't decrease in any sense from what they were on earth. We may even find that the thing we're most talented at is something that on earth we never even tried. So in the end, going to heaven doesn't prevent you from being yourself, it just makes you a better version of the person you already were. Next time, would I still be myself in hell? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.